Oh, yo, good morning, athletes. Last night, I made chia seed pudding. Inside, all it is, is black chia seeds, almond milk, and maple syrup. So it's just over 100 calories, five grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar. It's also loaded with a lot of calcium, manganese, uh, magnesium, phosphorus, um, healthy omega-3 fats, and so many health benefits. Go search it up. And it's great for a healthy breakfast, snack, or even dessert. So I'm really excited to try this. And it only took like three to five minutes to prepare. And then you gotta let it sit in the fridge for like one to two hours. Or I think it's better to do the entire like night. Um, let's test it out. I find it weird eating in the washroom, but my parents are in the family room. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Yo, it tastes like tapioca pudding. <laughs> and there's a lot of protein in this. This is great. And it's supposed to fill you up for a long time. Wow. You guys gotta try this. This is my new dessert. Maybe not for breakfast, but for dessert, definitely. Yo, this is my dessert after my dinners. Yeah. All right, so right now I'm gonna walk you through how to make it. All you need is almond milk, maple syrup. I used honey on my last one, but maple syrup is actually vegan. Chia seeds and cups. So for this recipe, it's technically two servings, but I'm gonna split it into four. For each cup, I'm gonna put one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds and half a cup of almond milk. Now to top it off, half a tablespoon of maple syrup. The last thing is to give it a good stir. And that's it. It's so easy to make. You can top it off with like blueberries or other fruits that you like. But now I'm going to cover it and place it in the fridge for about like overnight. The reason you want to let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours is because you want the chia seeds to expand. That's how it tastes like tapioca pudding. As always, in a rush for yoga, I'm taking the relaxation class because my arm feels weird and I don't feel... I don't know, in tune with my body right now, so let's go. Just finish the glass, arm feels a lot better, more mobile. Yeah. His breeze feels nice. Are we in focus? Yep. Uh, I didn't sweat nearly as much because this was a relaxation class and it was more for stretching and, you know, feeling more mobile, so got the job done. Now, what should I eat? <laughs> I've been eating out way too much. I have meal prep at home. We'll do that. Thank the vegan gods. Look at this. I added cherry tomatoes because it was in the uh, fridge. And I added a lot more spinach. So this is looking real good. I think this is going to be my new vlogging corner. I got decent lighting. I got a backrest over here. Pretty comfortable. Not too loud. But, um... A lot of you guys have been noticing that I am shifting towards a more plant-based diet and I think for season two I want to reach like about 70% plant-based, 30% of whatever. But um, the reason for the switch is because I watched this uh, documentary on Netflix called What the Health and I was mind blown from all the health benefits from eating everything that's grown from the ground. The nutrients are a lot higher, you feel better, better for the environment for the animals, obviously. And it's cheaper, actually, it's cheaper, which is surprising to me. And for me, it's just like, I just wanna feel great. And I can't explain it, but when I eat vegan things, it's like, wow, I feel really good after. I don't feel, I don't have any, like, I don't go into food coma, I don't feel, I can't really explain it, but I don't feel groggy after, I don't get tired, and it also prevents a lot of diseases, like diabetes is in my family. Before I told myself, nah, I couldn't do this. I love meat too, way, way too much. But I'd rather be healthier and be stronger and, you know, within. And that, like, altered my mindset about meat. So, I mean, I'm not gonna kick it out entirely, but 70% and uh, 30%, maybe like cheat meals, I'll be like, I'll have meat. And, but then during the days, the weekdays, training days, I'll have vegan meals. So, yeah, um, 
consider trying it out, just test it out. Like have like one meal or couple and see how you feel because the feeling you get after is amazing. I guess I'll become a part-time vegan. <laughs> I just realized I miss running. So I'm heading to the field to do 10 times 100 temple running. I absolutely miss this place. It's pretty crazy. Been spending 10 months of training in this area, recovery days, and I'm back here after two weeks. Two weeks was good enough. <sighs> Thank God there's no games happening. There's people playing, but it's fine. Half the reason why I'm doing temple right now is because we're shooting with RYU on Monday and we're going over hurdles and it's been two weeks, so I gotta get my body up and running. This little container ruined my shot. Get out of here. I'm not feeling too rusty. The only thing I'm feeling is the endurance, not as uh, I'm getting a little bit tired throughout the, uh, the warm up. But uh, <laughs> two weeks, a lot of food, it's expected. <laughs> I just did 10 100s at 50% and I'm dead already. That was all mental. That was all mental power right there. <laughs> Damn, okay, I think I'm gonna do Start doing temple a little bit more. I don't think I can go two months without running. It's this, this too much. Even though I'm doing yoga, but maybe like one to two times a week. Maybe one, at least one. This is kind of disgusting, but I have to show you this. Look at the sweat. When I'm eating clean, I don't sweat like this. But when I eat like junk, I start to sweat greasy. It's weird. Doing a barbecue tomorrow at Rochelle, so I'm in charge of the steaks. Gonna get the uh, triple A sirloin, some prime stuff. Screw that, the triple A sirloin was like 50 bucks. This is good, <laughs> $21. Check out this combo right here. Unsalted capasa tortilla chips and hummus, caramelized onions. Great vegan snack. Just in case someone eats it. So right now, Papachu and I are going to a reunion for a high school. It's all dudes because I went to an all-guy school, FYI, if you guys didn't know. So it's gonna be a huge sausage fest, but it's gonna be pretty hilarious. We're gonna be super rowdy, and uh, you guys are not gonna see what happens tonight in this vlog. It's gonna be in the next vlog, because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of crazy antics and crazy events happening. I, 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 I actually don't know what to expect, because a lot of people that are coming, there's a lot of rowdy people that are coming. You think that I'm rowdy and Papa Chew's rowdy? Yo, there's some people that are like 10 times rowdier than us. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog here, but let you guys know, check out the next vlog for the rowdiness. So, uh, yeah, at Bisu, we uh, put a, a name down for 50 people. I think it's gonna be Full House, and we're actually supposed to be there right now. <laughs> but, uh, we're doing a little sip sipping and some snacking. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the uh, the next vlog. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And one sec, one sec. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And put your hands in. Tokyo on three. Here we go. One, two, three. Tokyo. Yup.